Hello everybody, I'm Aaron Hazelhurst. Welcome to the program, a fascinating and exciting snapshot of all the latest in the world of business and money. We're going to talk about olive oil prices. They could be going up, but first let's talk about going down. Samsung, uh, Samsung Electronics, the world's largest smartphone maker, is heading for its toughest quarter in years amid rising competition from cheaper Chinese rivals, of course, in that smartphone market. Well, today the South Korean IT giant said its profits will be, listen to this, 60% lower for the last quarter than they were a year ago. But to combat the fall in demand, Samsung has announced that it will push ahead with plans to spend around $15 billion on a new chip facility in South Korea. Samsung is already the biggest memory chip maker in the world, supplying chips for rivals uh, and the phone companies, such as, believe it or not, it supplies Apple. The news about Samsung's focus on the chip business helped support the shares today because they rose nearly 2%. Let's get more on this. Ronan Diraness is lead consumer technology analyst at Ovum and joins us. Ronan, great to have you in the studio. You know, what's interesting, I was once reading that Apple used to be the only firm that kept Samsung executives, you know, awake at night or nightmares, night mm. sweats. But today, it's what? It's, it's Hawaii, it's, it's Lenovo, it's Z, uh, ZTE, mm. it's Show Me. Show Me, exactly, yes. So there are two sides to the story here. One side is those companies you just mentioned, which represent the India and Chinese market, huge smartphone markets, bigger than Europe and North America. And then you have uh, Sony, HTC, uh, LG, all those companies have improved their uh, smartphones a lot in the past uh, two or three quarters. So competition is really be becoming really intense for, uh, for Samsung. So that's interesting you say that. So uh, uh, some of these other firms, LG, etc., you were mentioning, have improved their products. Mm. We know the Chinese rivals have really mm. improved, haven't mm. they, their products. Does that sort of point the finger that Samsung needs to improve or it hasn't improved fast enough or, or what? Yeah, Samsung is really good uh, as, at uh, being a fast follower. So launching a device very quickly with very similar capabilities to its competitors or even better. But Samsung has been particularly struggling in being innovative. So launching devices which are really wowing the market like Apple has done with the iPhone. Yeah, well, talk, I want to actually ask about that because, again, I was reading that in North America, certainly, that now we've got the, the consumers have got Apple big screens mm. yeah. uh, for the iPhone 6 Plus that yeah, that will also. So Samsung is getting whacked in the emerging markets, but it also could start getting whacked now big time from these new Apple products in, in, in North America and the West. Yes, I wouldn't say it's being whacked, but mm -hmm. it's being, it is more competition. Right. So everybody else, before Samsung was really at the, really at the leading edge uh, mm -hmm. with Apple, and now it's not just Apple like you said, that keeps them awake. Mm. It's also LG, it's also Sony, okay. HTC, etc. Uh, again, I already, already uh, mentioned it, you know, but for some viewers around the world, they may not know this, but Samsung, even though Apple's the big competitor, mm. Samsung provides the chips, the yeah. guts, some of the guts, right, to Apple yeah. products. Uh, and that side of the business is, is doing well, so mm. much so that that's why they're making an investment. They hope this yeah. will be, in future, the, to, to offset the, 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 mm. the decline in smartphone sales. Is that right? Yeah, but that would be very difficult. How much do you sell a smartphone for? How much do you sell a chipset for? Oh, well, I don't know. Tell me, how much is a chip? I have no idea. I know, I know you can pay five, six hundred, seven hundred dollars for a phone. Yeah, yeah. But so chips are cheaper. A lot cheaper. A lot right. cheaper, so it'd be like hundred times less. Right, OK, so there's a lot to make up on that. Mm. Ronan, I'm running out of time. I've got to leave it there. Great input. Thank you very much for, for joining us. Ronan Duraness uh, joining us there from Oban. Let's uh, touch on some of the other stories, certainly making headlines all around the world. Hey, the Bank of Japan.